Hello, I'm Veda. I'm going to be your radiologist today for your MRI. So, um, how are you feeling today? Okay. Yeah, it's very normal to be nervous before an MRI. A lot of people get kind of anxious. One thing to remember is that um, it is not painful. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. It's very safe. It's just kind of a lot of loud noises, and we'll give you some noise-blocking headphones to help with that. There's no radiation at all, actually. Um, so MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging, so it uses magnets in order to generate an image, so it's actually safer than an x-ray. Nothing to worry about at all. I will be right there and we can talk the whole time. I'll walk you through everything I'm doing, okay? All right. So pretty much, first I'm going to go through an MRI safety screening questionnaire. The one thing we do have to worry about when you go into the MRI is that you do not bring in any metal. That includes any metal that might be in or on your body. And um, other than that, it's pretty standard. You'll be in there for about a half an hour while I run some uh, images. We're going to be doing imaging of your brain today by order of your doctor. And I will walk you through all of the different images I'm taking. Once we're done with the safety screening questionnaire, I'll let you change into a gown, then we'll get you into the MRI machine and get started, okay? All right, so first of all, um, can you confirm your name and date of birth for me? Yeah, we always have to do that to make sure that we're in the right room with the right person. And we took your height and weight outside. Now, the following items may be harmful to you during your MR scan or may interfere with the MR examination. Please provide a yes or no as to whether you have each item. First would be a cardiac pacemaker or implanted cardioverter defibrillator. Okay. Internal electrodes or wires. Artificial heart valve, coil, filter, or stent. An aneurysm clip or clips. A neurostimulator such as a TENS unit, biostimulator, or bone growth stimulator. An implanted drug pump. An external drug pump. No. IV access port. No. Implanted post surgical hardware such as pins, rods, screws, plates, or wires. Artificial joint or limb. Artificial eye and or eyelid spring. Um, any eye injury from a metal object, such as metal shavings or metal slivers. Okay. Any cochlear implant or middle ear implant. Hearing aids. Any false teeth, dentures, metallic removable dental work, braces or retainers. Any type of implant held in place by a magnet. Uh, have you ever been injured by a metal object such as shrapnel, a bullet, or a BB? No. Uh, any medication patch? A shunt or Sophie adjustable and programmable pressure valve. A spinal fixation device, spinal fusion, or halo vest, or spinal cord stimulator. Any surgical clips, staples, or surgical mesh? tissue expander, any radiation seeds for cancer treatment, any body piercings, okay, and what piercings do you have? Just your ears, okay. Just make sure to remove any earrings before we leave this room. Um, any wig or hair implants, okay. So that is all the items. Now I'll ask about a little bit of medical history, okay? Um, do you have a history of kidney disease? No. Diabetes? Liver disease? Claustrophobia, you said um, you do have anxiety. Is that claustrophobia related? Yes, okay. Would you classify your claustrophobia as mild, moderate, or severe? Mild, okay. Well, if you do find that the MRI is overwhelming for you, I am able to provide an IV sedative. Is that something they talked to you at all about while you were booking your appointment? Yes. Okay. And it doesn't look like you had checked a box for needing an IV sedative, but if it ends up being something you require, I'll be able to do it for you, okay? 
Um, any drug allergies? No. Latex allergy? No. And um, as far as you're aware, do you have any allergic reactions to the MRI contrast agent? It's gadolinium based? Not as far as you know. Okay. It's very rare to have any allergic reactions to that. Usually they're also very mild. So it looks like your doctor has ordered an MRI contrast agent, which means about halfway through the test, we'll take you out of the MRI and just do a quick injection of the gadolinium agent. That should improve the contrast and clarity of the second set of images. Okay. Um, are you on dialysis? No. And that's it for questions. Now, I'm going to read you this set of instructions. It's very important that you follow it. You are to remove all jewelry and all body piercing jewelry and all hair accessories before leaving this room. We will provide you a locker so that all items you remove may be stored and locked safely during your scan. You may bring the key in the scan room with you, but do not bring it into the machine. Okay? Um, looks like the others uh, go for dentures, false teeth, you don't have those. Any hearing aids or eyeglasses must be removed. You must remove all clothing and change into a hospital gown. Slippers will be provided as well as a gown. You'll see those right behind you. And uh, please use the restroom prior to your MRI. That way we don't have to take you out of the machine. Um, also, we will provide you with a pair of noise blocking headphones. Like I said, the MRI can make a variety of loud noises, beeps, uh, bumping noises. Yeah, it's usually very tolerable, especially with the noise-blocking headphones. It won't seem that loud at all. One little boy um, that I did an MRI for a couple of weeks ago said it felt like being in a people printer. So I thought that was a really funny, accurate analogy, just because of how it feels to be in there and then the noises. It's no worse than being in the middle of a busy construction site, but like I said, with the headphones, very tolerable. And also, we'll be able to talk to each other and you'll hear me clearly through the headphones. Um, would you prefer that I play music for you or walk you through what I'm doing with the MRI? Okay, so I'll walk you through everything I'm doing, the images we're taking. A lot of it is very technical setting stuff, but it sometimes calms people down to know exactly what's going on. You'll also be able to see me the whole time, and if you have any problems, um, you can see me or speak to me through the headphones. So, we're connected, nothing to worry about, you're not trapped in there. And although it's an enclosed space, you can see out, and it is open, so that helps some people, okay? So, that is the safety screening questionnaire. I will leave you for a few minutes to go ahead, remove any jewelry, and change into the gown behind you. You can use the slippers. Please remove all clothing, including undergarments, and um, when I come back, we'll go ahead and bring you to the MRI room and get you put in the machine, okay? Excellent. Okay, so we have you settled into the MRI machine, and uh, are you pretty comfortable? Okay, good. Do you need a blanket or anything? Are you cold? No. Okay, so uh, let me just fix this pillow a little bit behind your head here. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So, one important thing with the MRI is to stay as still as possible while I'm doing the imaging. I might ask you to do certain things, like um, take a breath and hold it, or blink. So, you just follow my instructions, but other than that, try to stay as still as possible, okay? That way we get the clearest images and we get you out of here as quick as possible. All right. Do you have any questions before we start? Okay, so I'm going to be in that room behind us, and um, I'll be on my computer setting up the imaging. I'll let you know everything that we're going to do. If you need anything or if you need to take a break or stop, you can just tell me through the headphones. We'll try to knock it out in one go. That way we don't have to um, try to get you in exactly the same position. That can kind of mess up the scan. So we can get started now. And about halfway through, I will um, pull out the tray that you're on and give you that gadolinium injection for the contrast. And then we'll get you back in for the rest of your scans. All right? Sounds good. Okay. I'm going to press the button, and it's going to bring you back into the machine, okay? Hey, 
Hey, how you doing in there? You're good. Okay. Hi. Can you see me okay? All right. So, let me just go ahead and pull up my MRI software. And just pull up your patient portal. Can you confirm again your name and date of birth for me? Okay, thank you. No, I know it's kind of silly, but we've had text do the MRI on the wrong person before, so... Okay. Just inputting your height and weight so that the scans run correctly. to um, start with a T1 weighted sequence um, on the axial and sagittal plane. It'll be a fast spin echo um, T1 FSE. The purpose of this one is just an anatomical overview. It includes the soft tissues below the base of the skull, okay? So let me input those parameters. So the noise is going to start to pick up in just a second, okay? When I click to start, I just need you to be as still as possible, alright? Are you ready? Okay, so you're going to hear some thunking noises, but um, nothing to worry about. The headphones should block a lot of that loud, loud noise, okay? Alright, here we go. Just stay nice and still. You're doing a really good job so far. Okay. I'm looking in on you. Don't worry. Nothing to be afraid of. Okay. And don't worry. That MRI is open. You're not closed in. You're good. You can see out. You can see me. Bye. Okay. You're doing awesome so far. Okay. I'm going to have you, on the count of three, take a breath, and then hold that breath. One, two, three, take a breath, and hold that breath, and hold, and hold, and hold, and release. Okay, and you can breathe normally now, just don't move your head. Okay. Doing very well so far. And again, on the count of three, I'm going to take you take a breath and hold it. One, two, three, and breathe. And hold, 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 and release. Okay. All right, you are doing awesome. Okay, this one's almost over. Just a couple more seconds, okay? Make sure that we have a really good, clear image for your doctor. And it's almost through. And one more time on the count of three. Breathe in. One, two, three. And hold. 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 And release. Okay, and you can breathe normally. Okay, so let me just make sure that we got a very clear scan. The T1 weighted axial and sagittal plane. Fast spin echo. Yeah, that looks really, really good. You did a great job staying nice and still, okay? Alright, okay, so this next one is going to be a T2 weighted on the axial plane. Sequence is T2 fast spin echo. The purpose of this one is um, evaluation of basal cisterns, ventricular system, and subdural spaces. Also evaluation of vasogenic edema and um, good visualization of flow voids in your blood vessels, okay? I know a lot of that sounds like gibberish, but your doctor will know what it means. Okay, so let me just input those parameters. T2, axial, T2, FSE. Okay, 
And are you ready to begin the second scan? Okay. Nice and still, okay? There we go. Okay. Yeah, different noise this time, I know. Each one is slightly different or very different depending on the scan. You're doing a really good job. You can just breathe normally. Okay. Hopefully it's much easier than you thought it would be. Not nerve-wracking at all. Okay. Now, same thing as before. On the count of three, I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and hold. One, two, three, in. And hold. And hold. And hold. And release, and you may breathe normally, okay? It's very good. Okay, I'll also have you for this one just close your eyes for a moment. Close. Okay, and you can open your eyes. And close again. And you may open and blink as normal. Okay. We're getting a really good scan on this one. This one's important. It shows us a lot of different things, especially with those blood vessels. Okay. Okay. And we're getting close to being done with this one. And just stay nice and still for me. You're doing a really good job on that. Okay. And again, in on three. One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. And hold. And hold. And exhale. Okay. Good. After this one, we only have um, two more, and then I'll do your contrast agent. Okay. Okay. And... It's done. Excellent. Okay. So you can just relax for a second, breathe. I'm going to go ahead and look at the scan and make sure that it is nice and clear for your doctor. This is great so far. You're doing a very good job staying still, which makes the scans much more clear if you move at all. Sometimes we get um, kind of messed up scans and have to redo them. So you're making it easier on me and on yourself. Okay. Yeah, that looks excellent. Okay, are you ready for the next scan? Awesome. So this one is going to be a flare scan on the axial plane. It's a flare sequence, and the purpose is the assessment of white matter, um, any tumor involvement, and related vasogenic edema. Okay? Alright, let me go ahead and set those parameters. Flare. Axial. Flare. Okay. And, ready to start? Here we go. Okay, nice and still again. Doing a great job. I've had one person fall asleep in the MRI. Doesn't typically happen because of uh, all the noises going on, but I've had it happen, and my colleagues have had it happen a couple of times, so if you fall asleep, you're fine. Actually, sometimes we can get better pictures if people fall asleep, because sometimes they're more still, but you're doing a really good job of staying still regardless, okay? Okay. So I'm going to have you um, blink a couple of times for me when I say blink, blink. Okay, blink. And blink. And blink. Very good. Okay. And just again with the breathing, breathe in for me. And breathe out. 
No need to hold it right now. Just breathe in. And breathe out. Okay. And on the count of three, I'll have you breathe in and hold. One, two, three, in. And hold. 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 And breathe out. Okay. You're doing a great job. Okay. On the count of three again, breathe in. One, two, three, in. And hold. 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 And out. Alright. Yeah, the breathing sometimes can stabilize your movements. Also stabilize your organs and give us a clearer picture. That can be really helpful when you hold your breath. We are almost done with this scan. You're doing really good. You're making this very, very easy, and you don't seem nervous at all. I know you said you have uh, some claustrophobia, but you're doing a great job combating it, so that's great. Okay. okay. And we are done with the flare sequence. Very, very good. Okay. Just one more after this, and then we'll go to the post-contrast sequences. Okay. Just making sure that this uh, image came out nice and clear. Yeah, that looks really good. Just change one thing here. Okay. Yes, perfect. Okay. Alright, so the next one we're going to be doing is um, diffusion weighted imaging, or DWI, beyond the axial plane with a DWI sequence, um, B0, B1000, and ADC. The purpose of this is to evaluate any tumor cellularity, okay? Alright, and are you ready to begin? Okay, let me just go ahead and input those. Okay, let me just input those parameters. DWI axial B0 B1000 ADC. Okay. Okay, are you ready to begin this skin? Excellent. All right, here we go. Very good so far. You're doing a good job with all of the different strange noises. I think that's the uh, number one thing that causes people anxiety sometimes, but I think the noise blocking headphones help a lot without them. It's very, very loud. So I think that helps. And some people find music helpful. Some people find uh, being talked to helpful. Whatever works for you, and you're doing wonderfully. Okay. Just looking at these images as they start to come up. Okay, and uh, we're just gonna slow your breathing a little bit. Just a nice deep breath in. And out. A nice deep breath in. And out. And on three, you're gonna hold it. One, two, three. And hold. And hold. And hold. And exhale. And you can breathe normally. Okay, and then another deep breath in on three. One, two, three. Breathe. And hold. And hold, and hold, and exhale. Great job, I know yeah, I had you hold a little bit longer that time. It's very helpful for the clarity of the images. Okay. So, when this one is over, I'll come around to pull you out of the machine for a second and administer that contrast solution. 
We're using a gadolinium-based contrast agent called Dotarum. And that should be very quick and easy. You take effect and we'll do the rest of your scans. Okay. So this one's almost done. I'm gonna ask you to hold one more time on three. One, two, three, in, and hold. And hold. And exhale. Okay. Very good. And the DWI image is done. Beautifully done. Okay. So I'm going to come around and uh, we'll pull you out of the machine and administer that injection, okay? All right. I'll be right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull you out of the machine. And, uh, we'll give you that contrast agent, okay? So again, what I'm giving you is called, um, gadolinium. Or it's gadolinium-based. It's an MRI contrast agent. And it's just an injection. Sometimes we do it as an IV, but today we're just going to do yours as injection. And um, what it does is increases the contrast and clarity of the next set of images we're doing. You might experience um, a little bit of flushing or a slight metallic taste in your mouth when I initially inject the solution, but that will go away very quickly and um, you shouldn't have any reaction to it whatsoever. It's very rare to have a reaction, okay? Just grab that. And if I could just have your uh, left arm, please. Okay. Right. There we go. Okay. Very quick. All right. You did a great game. You did a great job with the needle. Now I'm just going to uh, slide you back into the machine. Um, let me readjust you just a tiny bit, okay? Just get back here. your head just a little bit. Here we go. All right. Perfect. Now I'll just slide you back into the machine and I'll go back to the room and finish all of the scans, okay? Awesome. Okay, you still doing good in there? Excellent. And how are you feeling after that contrast agent? No effects, right? Okay, good. That's what I like to hear. I've never had anybody with a um, reaction to it, luckily. So, that's good. So now we're going to do a couple of post-contrast sequences. Like I said, that contrast agent is just to increase the contrast and clarity of some of these scans. Sometimes the doctor orders it, sometimes they don't, depending on the protocols that we're using. So, your doctor did order it. Now, um, the next scan we're going to do is another on the axial plane. Um, we don't need to do a volumetric 3D. And we're going to use a post-contrast fast spin echo, that's a T1 FSC. And that's a fat-saturated sequence. Okay? Let me know when you're ready, okay? Okay, you're good. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and put in those protocols. Uh, we'll do it on the axial. Post-contrast to one FSE. And I'm going to start, okay? Alright, here you go. Okay. Very good. And just stay nice and still like before. It's very important to continue staying still, especially with these ones because the contrast and clarity 
requires that you remain very still so the scan doesn't get corrupted, okay? Um, after this one, we'll do another um, T1 FSC on the coronal plane, and then we'll do an SWI scan. So there's two more after this one, okay? You're doing really good. Hopefully those noises aren't bothering you too much and the headphones are helping. And we're going to do the breathing thing again on three. All of you breathe in and hold. One, two, three. Breathe in. And hold. Hold. And hold. And exhale. Very, very good. Okay. And you can just breathe normal for now. Really good job. Only two more after this one. You are flying through. You're doing really great. Okay. Getting some very good images here for your doctor, your neurologist. Okay. And I'll have you blink for me. Blink. And blink. And... Close your eyes, and you may open them and blink as normal. Okay, one more time, I'm going to control your breathing. Go ahead and breathe in, and out, and in, and out. Very, very good. Okay, and that's it for that one. So, like I said, the next one is going to be very similar, but it's going to be on the coronal plane. We will use the post-contrast fast fin echo T1 FSE. Just putting that in. Okay, so now... Um, we are ready to start the next one. Are you ready? Okay. And here we go. Alright. So this one should be kind of quick, only about uh, two minutes, maybe. And then just one more. You're doing very, very well. We didn't even have to use the sedative. Okay, you're doing awesome. Hopefully you have something nice and relaxing or fun that you're doing after this. You deserve it. A lot of people find this very, very challenging and stressful. So you've been doing really well. Hopefully you weren't too, too nervous coming in. Okay. About another 30 seconds, probably. done. Ended just a little earlier than I thought. That's great. So let me just look at that image and make sure that it is nice and clear. Okay. That looks really good. We haven't had to redo a single one so far. So thank you for staying nice and still. Okay. So this last one is uh, susceptibility weighted imaging on the axial plane, and uh, the purpose of this one is to identify blood products or calcification within any tumor, okay? Just input those parameters. Sci-fi plane axial. Okay, are you ready for the last one? Awesome. Okay. And here we go. 
So just another two to three minutes and you will be free, okay? You're doing really, really, really good job. Okay. And again, staying nice and still. You keep doing it correctly. I'm just reminding you in case. And um, have you take a deep breath in on three and hold it. One, two, three. Breathe in. And hold. And hold. And hold. And exhale. Okay, you can breathe normally for now. Okay. So far the scan is looking very good. Okay, another deep breath in on three. One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. when people don't listen to music because then I get to talk the whole time and I'm a little bit of a talker so it's nice okay and breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out I think somebody should treat you to a very nice dinner after this. That's what I think. You deserve it. Okay, we're almost done. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we are good. Let me just make sure that that scan came out nice and clear, and then we can be done. Paul, take a look at it. Yeah, your neurologist would be very unhappy if I sent him unclear images to try to review. Okay. Yeah, that looks perfect. I can see everything I need to see. Okay. So, if you need to move your neck or move your head or anything, you can now. I'm going to go ahead and come on around and let you out of the machine. Then you can change back into your clothes and you are free to go. We'll send the scans over to your doctor and um, they'll give you a call to schedule your results appointment, okay? Alright, I'll be right over. <laughs>